Yeah, folks, this is the situation after the 11th turn. This is the AM turn on the 21st of December, I think. And, uh, well, in the last video I spoke about this, this brick wall that the Americans put up, this wall that the Germans just were staring at. And as the Germans, they figured, well, there's no point just staring at this wall. So they launched a series of attacks, pretty much all along the front. Um, the rationale was, well... They're not going to break through this wall just by looking at it, so they launched a lot of relatively low odds attacks. Um, mostly low odds attacks, so a lot of 2 to 1s, relative 3 to 1s. A big attack on Bastogne, which succeeded and forced the defenders out. And then um, pairing those attacks with attacks on the flanks as well, which all also succeeded. Pretty much every German attack made this turn went well. Um, and as you can see, they've captured Bastogne, they've pushed the Americans back. Uh, a lot of breakthrough combat as well. So they, they broke through around here, and then there was a breakthrough combat as well, which also succeeded. Um, I mean, yeah, I think the worst result they had was uh, exchange results, which um, kills American units, kills German units and opens the space up for the Germans. Um, in the center, the left here, you can see German infantry infiltrating across the river, so crossing these unbridged river hex sides, um, and forcing the Americans to retreat away from La Roche and Ardennes, uh, just because they were getting um, surrounded and trapped in there. And that's really opened up the area. Again, there are no bridges along this whole area. Some more bridges are being blown along here, as you can see. So there's this tiny little gap through here the Germans can pass through. But that's pretty much what they're aiming for. They also had success out on the right. Um, some nice combat out here in the area around Spa, and then breakthrough combat, and they've pushed through almost, actually, yeah, very close to Vivier. Um, and fourth the Americans to kind of bring their reinforcements down to this area instead to deal with this. Um, so who's doing all this work? Okay, we've got the 67th Corps out on the right, 1st SS in this area, then we've got the 9th SS. So the, 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 one of the reasons for this, I guess, renewed success is the arrival of the 9th SS, finally, in this area. So they've led this charge through here. Then um, we've got the 12th SS, in the center uh, with the first SS driving up through here. Then we've got 47th Panzer on the right hand flank of Bastogne, and then 47th and 66th Corps driving on Bastogne, assisted by the newly arrived second SS. So, again, the arrival of these new strong units has enabled the Germans to push through um, and have that success. Whilst 47th Panzer Corps um, sort of shifts out the left flank a bit as well. Whilst all that's happening, um, still advancing up on the left flank as well, pushing the flanks up and capturing a few of those um, entry hexes out on the left, um, which is going to make it difficult if the Americans have to bring in more reinforcements to, into that area. So, yeah, that was. Uh, we're heading to the PM turn now. Again, it's a German's turn. And suddenly feeling renewed optimism. They have some good opportunities around here. Now they're into open ground now. Um, it's frozen weather. So it's easier for the Germans to move across a lot of this terrain. And there are a lot of primary roads. And yeah, they managed to inflict some some quite a few step losses on the Americans in that turn. So the Americans are kind of reeling. You can see they couldn't even get back um, to uh, recover their disruption. Okay, so there was a counterattack. I will also point that out. There was an American counterattack, I believe, somewhere around here somewhere, which did force... Yeah, that's why they're disrupted under there. A retreat by the, the Germans. So yeah... Um, the Americans starting to hit back. They do have some big hard-hitting units on the board now. All right, heading to the PM turn. We'll see how things develop.